Hey everybody, welcome back to Northern Lion Plays Rogue Legacy. I almost said Crusader Kings 2, but that would not be accurate. As you can see, we were recently killed on the last episode. Of course, this time we'll probably get a Hokage first. Actually, we didn't. We have an Archmage, a Miner, and a... an Assassin. So, I'm thinking we'll go with the Miner on this one, and I will, instead of uh, doing what I have been doing, which is essentially... Uh, Trying to grind the final boss, I will instead just try to pick up some uh, delicious gold uh, in the hopes that I can level up a couple of times and thus uh, improve my chances that way. Because we're so, so close to being able to beat the boss, but a couple of levels would not hurt. Now, keep in mind, uh, playing as the miner automatically gives us a uh, plus 30% gold bonus. In addition to that, um, we also have the plus. Uh, oh, be careful here. We also have the uh, plus. 10% gold bonus just naturally through that upgrade that I picked up recently. Uh, and I don't know, the frame rate's looking a little wonky here, but I'm not sure if it's actually a frame rate issue or if it's just that the game uh, looks weird because my character is uh, like a, a squished version of her former self, I suppose. So I'm hoping that, you know, even though we're not going to be very survivable because we, we do lack uh, a fairly significant amount of HP relative to other classes here, I'm hoping that in spite of that, we should be able to uh, pick up some nice gold. And we don't necessarily need to farm, you know, the most difficult areas in the game right now if we want to uh, get gold. You know, as the miner, it might be in our best interest to instead uh, simply farm the slightly less difficult areas of the game. Uh, but improve our chances. Now, I almost never use the fire magic. In fact, I'm not sure if I've actually ever used the fire magic, so I'm not 100% sure what it even does. Uh, maybe that is not the best choice for my magic right now, but hey! Gold bags are giving us, uh, 140 gold, which is actually basically like a bag and a half at this point, so I'm very pleased with that. Uh, we will also be on the lookout. You know, I might as well go to the land of darkness, even if we only manage to kill a few enemies there before dying with the 40% uh, gold bonus. That's actually pretty substantial. Now, ideally, uh, I would... Well, we are going to find the Land of Darkness. Shouldn't have picked that up. Um, ideally, I would love to get... Mm, I don't like that necessarily. We'll, we'll pick our room wisely here. Uh, ideally, I would love to get somewhere on the order of, uh, you know, four to 5,000 gold over the course of this episode. I think that is... Uh, Unlikely, so I would set my like bare minimum amount that I would feel happy with uh, Maybe somewhere. Ooh, let's not go there. Uh, maybe somewhere in the two to three thousand range just you know in the range Where we can pick up a uh, level as a result of uh, our Trouble which is I think you know not unreasonable Now keep in mind. We are not doing like substantially low damage or anything. It's mostly just low health uh, that is gonna hold us back because uh, from a damage standpoint, we're doing totally fine I do believe that the frame rate is a little bit wonky here. I'm not sure what's up with that uh, Maybe it's a recent update to Rogue Legacy that's causing this or something because you know my computer is still You know exactly the same as it was when I was doing the episode something like uh, an hour and a half ago So who knows there's well 2,000 gold for us right off the bat uh, Maybe that uh, I don't need those yet. Uh, maybe that uh, idea of Two to three thousand gold is actually a little bit too easy for us uh, and we should be looking more on the order of uh, three to four thousand. Either way, that's okay with me. We shouldn't get ahead of ourselves because you know, with only 190 health, it's completely possible that one room uh, will just absolutely destroy our chances. But let's see if we can uh, at least get a couple of levels here. And again, if you didn't see the end of my last episode, essentially my reasoning for uh, grinding on this character is that you know, if we have a paladin, if we have a barbarian king or queen. Uh, well, that took a little damage there. If we have a Hokage or like an assassin with good uh, attributes, I will definitely consider uh, going up against the boss, which we are, as mentioned, fairly close to defeating, at least in my opinion, assuming there's only three phases and not four. Ah, I really thought we could make it up through there. Um, but if we have a character like the Miner or, um, you know, maybe something that doesn't necessarily do a lot of damage or have a lot of HP, maybe it's in our best interest instead. I've never used this before. This is interesting. Uh, maybe it's in our best interest instead to simply grind for gold instead. And that has been working out fairly well so far, even though we are close-ish to death right now, I have to say. Uh, we are going to get to 3,000. It looks likely, at least, that that is on the horizon for us. We do kill these guys in two hits, which is enough to get us, you know, like another 100 gold at the very least. That was a bad jump. Let's try this again. We can hit it twice like this. Okay, didn't give us anything, but that's okay. There's a treasure chest up here, which is where... You know, the vast majority of our profits are going to lie. Okay, that was... I, I got bounced really hard there. But we can just get up here anyway. I'm glad that was not a Mimic. I'm not even sure if you can have a Mimic uh, in the Land of Darkness. So maybe I should stop being so concerned about that. Um, I could definitely kill this plant side, But I think it's just in our best interest to get the F out of here instead. Um, we're low on health. No questions. 
And that is going to do it for us. But at the very least, we did manage to pick up another level there. Every level is going to count at this point, for sure. Uh, so the minor worked out okay for us. We have an Archmage, a Barbarian Queen, and a Miner. Uh, let's go again. Barbarian Queen attacks knock enemies further, which is actually maybe not great for fighting the final boss, but we have 3,000 gold. I think we should upgrade just our standard attack damage. Uh, and maybe, we could probably upgrade our health twice. We can indeed. So let's upgrade our health twice instead. That'll take us to level 95, and we'll give this, uh, the old college try against the final boss. With 600 health as opposed to what we had, what did we have before? 570? So it's not gonna make an enormous difference, but every little bit counts. And again, this kinda helps with the variety as well. We'll do like one boss run followed by one grinding run. Uh, or, you know, as, as the, uh, situation presents itself anyway. And I also wanna continue fighting this guy so I don't lose sight of, um, the moves that actually make it, uh possible to defeat him, if you understand what I'm, what I'm getting at there. Um, you know, memorizing his patterns and whatnot is going to be essential for us when it comes to survival. So do we have a hyper gonadism on this guy? Yes, so attacks are going to knock enemies further, which is actually kind of bad, because I've kind of subsisted on these fights, largely uh, through being able to combo him when he jumps at me. Uh, so it might slow things down a little bit, but by the same token, maybe it will also defend our, allow us to defend ourselves a little bit easier. I wonder if I can just keep him trapped in the corner here. Okay, so far, hyper gonadism seems to be pretty effective from that standpoint. Not that I'm not still taking damage as a result, but, uh... Oh, that was stupid of me. Got a little cocky there. He should just probably keep running into that if I had to guess. Uh, in any case, so far so good. I don't think this is gonna be the run that, uh, wins it for us. You gonna do something there? Thank you very much. Uh, I don't think this is gonna be the run that wins the game for us, but, uh, still... It's okay. I am still taking a stupid amount of damage just from running into his blade walls. Which, to be fair to myself, he does pop down right in front of me. Uh, but still. We've lost about, you know, two-thirds of our health on this fight so far, which is not good. Uh, our blade wall does, like, next to no damage to this guy. And I really think that hyper gonadism is not the skill that we want to have here. Uh, but we will manage to hit him without getting hit again, thank god. Four turkey legs might be enough for me to get some good stuff going on here, but we're probably gonna die against the fountain. At the very least, it was a good try. It turns out that uh, hyper gonadism probably is not the right way to go, but let's not count our chickens before they hatch. If I manage to get some half-decent uh, dodges in here, maybe I will pull out a surprise victory. And of course, I am believing, or at least the speculation is there in the back of my mind, uh, that there is a third phase to this boss, but uh, I can't say that with authority yet, so. Let's not get too concerned about it just yet. Alright, that's gonna be the attack that causes the ah, I should have known that that was coming. It's not my first rodeo here, so... Those are easy attacks. Oh! That was a different one. A lot of his attacks look so similar that I get a little, uh... Confused. So he's gone all the way back to the end here, which is bad for me. I thought- Oh my god, Fusrodah does work on those! I really should have figured that out earlier. Uh, but if I'm about to get hit by one... Then it makes perfect sense to actually use Fusurada now. Please don't do this to me, you damn dickhole. Uh, like, ah, uh, it still hurt me. Uh, and I almost got hurt again there, actually, in fact. Um, and I'm not doing super well, especially when I just continue to take, like, the worst damage of all time from literally walking into him. But, uh, the, it's, it's exciting knowing that Fusurada actually works on the knives. If I'd known that, I actually might have stood a chance at winning some of these earlier runs. Uh, which is unfortunate to think about, but still. Doing good here. We may- we're so close to success on this run! Ah, oh, I walked into him by accident! Okay, you know, that that's bad play. I get it. Northern Lion sucks at RogueLegacy.jpg. But we're so close to being able to beat him. Barbarian Queen, Barbarian Queen, Barbarian King. Well, um... She swears, can't see in 3D, she has vertigo, not gonna happen. Uh, so I'm gonna take this guy with hyper gonadism again. This is essentially the same character. And, you know, I could grind with this character, but I don't really... Ah, uh, you know what? Why don't we stick to our guns and we'll do one grinding level, uh, or one grinding run for every final boss run that we do. So on this one, we'll just, again, look for the land of darkness, try to pick up enough gold to get another level, uh, and then have some good fun as a result of that. Again, I apologize for the seemingly kind of chunky frame right here. Uh, I literally have no idea what's causing this. I just recorded the other episode a little bit earlier today. Uh, but apparently some issue has, uh, sprung up, which is kind of unfortunate. Hopefully, it definitely, from my perspective, doesn't look unwatchable. Uh, but sometimes there is a difference between, uh, you know, actually playing it for yourself. You can be a little bit more lenient than when you're watching it on camera. Sometimes the opposite is true as well. It's just, uh, what can I say, the mercurial nature 
uh, of online video. So we'll just pop this open. Break some stuff. Don't really need to deal with that uh, turkey leg yet. We are just looking basically for the path down. And I will say that over the past two episodes, I've gotten extraordinarily and unusually lucky when it comes to finding the land of darkness right off the bat. I mean, it's not rocket scientist. It's, or it's not rocket science. Uh, it's just down, uh, usually anyway. Um, but still, you can't always rely on getting it right off the bat. So uh, that guy did die and we should be able to get a little bit more gold for our troubles. Even if I lose some health, it's not the end of the world. And ever, the reason I thought, you know, why not grind this time for some gold instead of just immediately fighting the boss is twofold. A, variety, of course, but also B, uh, every run that we fight the boss and fail is kind of like wasted time because we don't actually get anything uh, for it. So if there's even a slight doubt in my mind that we'll be able to beat the boss, it might be in our best interest to uh, just go straight for uh, some gold instead. Defeat all enemies for the fairy chest. Should be easy. Considering I am one-shotting basically every single enemy that we come across. This is just a pure zombie room even, I feel, so uh, it should be easy enough. Should break everything because you never know what's going to contain gold. This room would have been a, a total pain in the dick earlier. Not every enemy is dead, though. There's one more zombie down here. And with him dead, I smell... Well, I didn't expect to get another rune, actually. A retaliation rune for our sword might be worth buying. Again, I think this will make it so that enemies take... Uh, 10 to 50% of the damage they do to us. I know the retaliation uh, cape that we have on causes enemies to take 50% damage, or uh, 50% of the damage they do to us is like returned as damage to them, uh, but I don't know if that applies for everything. So this is in all likelihood the trip to the land of darkness here. In fact, I'm not sure if there's any way that it could have not been. Now again, I, we have hypergonadism. I guess that's the other reason why I could justify not fighting the boss on this run, because we just try to run with this, uh, and it could have gone better, is maybe the polite way to put it. It didn't go super badly though. Um, and I'm expecting now that we're on the land of darkness, we're doing pretty well against these enemies. Shouldn't be, uh, very difficult. Is this just a free chest that I'm gonna get here? Like, these guys can't actually offer anything in defense? Alright, fantastic. Uh, I'm expecting that it's gonna be, uh, fairly easy for us to farm up at least a few thousand here. Remember, uh, probably gonna focus not on critical, but just on, uh, increasing our damage and raw HP. Because I think at this point, that's what I need. Particularly damage is probably gonna pay dividends at this point. Because uh, my HP is probably okay, uh, considering I'm likely going to use a Paladin or a Barbarian King uh, or Queen to take out the boss. I think this is a boss that is not really fit for my standard Hokage style, but I might be biased in thinking that because apparently the Hokage doesn't exist in my game anymore for some odd reason. Uh, I'm glad I did that because there was actually a turkey leg there, so 60 HP recovered is absolutely nothing to sneeze at. At some point that man is gonna die and it did indeed happen. Let's check over to the right first actually I have a feeling that maybe there's gonna be some kind of chest or fairy chest over here Which we can get and I do think chests and fairy chests deserve to be held in you know different uh, Circles because of the rewards that they can give us although I probably would desire the gold more uh, Than any kind of rune at this point All right, keep it up. That was ah, oh, I was gonna say that was almost bad damage But I got cocky and thought I was a uh, you know Safe when I was definitely not. We are at 1700. This guy's gonna do some asshole amount of damage if we actually give him the opportunity to attack, which obviously is not in my best interest in all likelihood. That was a good crit. And you know, at this point, it might be in my best interest to increase my critical hit chance as well if I'm gonna not be using the Hokage for the fight, because again, apparently the Hokage just doesn't spawn at this point in the game. Alright, he's dead again. You know, it, it's good. We are getting like seven or eight coins from enemies that we kill. Uh, which is substantial, no question about it. Like, 7 or 8 times 13. It's like 80 gold per enemy that we kill that actually drops something. Uh, and we're killing everything in two hits. And we're also getting HP back on every kill, which is awesome. It's a little weird. I, I feel that with the retaliation rune, enemies also get hit with, like, the hyper gonad uh, gonadism debuff. So, like, when they hit me, they fly backwards. Uh, even if they don't hit, like, even if they hit me with a ranged attack from afar, it's a little unusual. That's okay, we are at uh, basically 2,000 gold. This room contains nothing of value for me, unless I am missing some kind of chest hidden somewhere. Looking again for, if not a fairy chest, uh, then, you know, some kind of chest on these rooms. This is scary. Uh, and even the, the turrets get bounced back a little bit, which I did not remember. Now, yeah, I had a feeling I was going to get hit there. Those guys do a lot of damage, too. That was a poor play on my part. It, that's the first time it backfired in a while, though. So we are going to be at 2,500 gold. Probably looking at uh, one level of either damage or health at this point. Probably like 1.4 levels of health, which is the annoying part. 
Uh, I thought maybe there was a second chest down here, but no such luck. Our health is uh, suffering pretty greatly, but recall we're not going to fight the final boss on this run anyway. We are instead just going to focus on uh, grinding as much gold as we possibly can. So, so far so good, I would say. That extra 11 is going to help me out there. Oh, it's not 7 times 13 then. It's 7 times 11, which is obviously 77 gold. Uh, and doesn't necessarily carry the same kind of uh, significant number, but uh, still, useful. So we w did I even go up and to the left here? It seems like I would have destroyed this stuff if I did, but I, you know, I know myself, so I also know that I can miss things pretty easily. Let's do up! Don't get hit by the dumbest thing of all time. Let's fall down here now. Uh, and three hits should be enough. It's always important to know, because if you can kill an enemy before that enemy fires, uh, then you can make some very good things happen with respect to not losing a ton of HP over the course of uh, a run, so... Uh, being able to plan your attacks very important. This is without crits, I think, as well. So three hits per enemy, roughly. Maybe two hits on these eye men. Yes, okay, the pupil, I guess. That is a sensical name for a gentleman like that. Uh, let's just come down here and get this. And there is some more stuff kind of awaiting me. I'm thinking that 4,000 might be, uh, our likely kind of stopping point here. I wouldn't be, uh, adverse to getting higher than 4,000. I just think it's kind of unlikely. So the pyrite is going to come after me. I managed to bounce there. That was kind of a clutch bounce. Uh, I, I didn't necessarily expect it to work. Because I just kind of... Uh, oh, again. The, the down strike is something that I'm not very good at historically, as you can see. So I should probably stop uh, being so reckless with it. Defeat all enemies. Again, every time I do this, I have the fucking blade wall. So it's like impossible. I can kill one enemy and not get any gold for it. Shitty room for me, unfortunately. Uh... Now, this could also be a shitty room, especially considering there is nothing of value uh, contained therein. So I guess instead we'll just make our way back over here and we'll get the clutch down strike again. Not the easiest thing in the world for a man such as myself. And we're, uh, whoa, okay. Be a little concerned about how this room's going, but I think we're going to make it easily enough. Tons of extra gold, absolutely. The way back is actually the harder part, I would say. But with this amazing double jump plus hover combo, that wasn't so bad. Uh, and we've explored a lot of this area, no question about that. But I still want to get to, like, what would be a good number? Maybe five? Oh, that was really bad, but we got a ton of gold out of that. Uh, 2,500 times, so 5,000 gold might be where I want to be to get two attack upgrades or, like, an attack and a health upgrade. We'll see. For now, there is a, an extra path downwards over here that is important to note. I would love to kill that guy, but, uh, whoa. Oh, the path downwards is right here, actually. Okay. I would love to kill that guy. It seems unlikely, though. All right. Take no damage, shall we? This is probably going to be our death. Nope. Okay. We barely made that. Now, of course, we have to go all the way back. A siphon rune. We should look into that. I don't know what that does. That was actually an easy fairy chest. As much as I'd love to be like, wow, check out how good I am at Rogue Legacy. Uh, in actuality, that was just kind of simple. Uh, there is another path downwards that we have not taken over here. So let's do that. And maybe there... Ah, another turkey leg. That's exactly what I was hoping for. Maybe we can use that to start rebuilding our run here. Uh, give us enough to get some confidence back. And then we can lifesteal the rest from enemies or get some more turkey legs like so. Lucky me. All right, nothing really of value, it appears, over here. Good news about a hypergonadism is we can just bounce enemies off the walls sometimes. Uh, but we're going to be looking, of course, to get uh, a little bit more gold. I guess we've already gone uh, one of the ways that we can go here. So let's start going back to the left instead. Is there anything... This is a dead end? How does that even make sense? Where the heck am I supposed to go now, game? There's been, like, rooms that I didn't see. Uh, oh, there is a way down over here. That's got to open up, like, a huge path. Because I've only been on this run for, like, a, a few minutes here. Is it down? No, it's down in the next one. Okay. Uh, yeah, I've only been here for, like, less than ten minutes, so this is not, like, an uh, unprecedented length of time to survive. I remember coming down here and being like, no thank you. Uh, okay, I got lucky that those just kind of broke there. Um, break the bucket. Bucket, I was hoping, contained a turkey leg. Almost a sensical position for it to be in, but whatever. Uh, there's our boss, which means more turkey legs, which primarily means more gold. This should take us to 4,000. Easy. Maybe even 4,200? 4,400, actually. All right. And more Land of Darkness awaits us beneath. Exactly what I was looking for. Can't believe I managed to not get hit there. Uh, I hate these eyes. They're not the hardest enemy in the game. And in fact, they're pretty low on HP. But they're a pain in the dick because they uh, shoot their bullets through the wall. If they didn't do that, they'd be like no risk whatsoever. 
Um, yeah, I'm just gonna check out what's up here. This seems like it could be some easy enemies. Uh, if I just get in the corner here, much appreciated. Okay. So now, uh, these guys are trapped in a very bad position, especially since I won. Oh, it's two hits. If I, only I had one more attack damage. Uh, these guys would die in one hit instead of two, and I would be in a much better situation. None of those guys dropped gold. Who would have thought? Probably a couple people out there. I would have thought. Well, you know what? Who asked you? You did. Okay, well, good point. There's not much I can say about that. Um, we are going to get close-ish to 5,000 here. Uh, Ninpo doesn't really offer too much of a risk. Oh, never mind. He totally did offer a risk. Um, we're going to be at 5,000 in mere moments now. Not near 5,000. I really thought I could dodge that. But I'm not sure what I was thinking. And this guy again. Just keeping him trapped in the corner. And having good rhythm. And I played enough Parappa the Rapper in my time. To make that easy enough. Okay. What do we have down here? We have a chest down here. Which is the most important part of this whole uh, ordeal, of course. Because each one of those can give me, you know, again, 200 to 500 gold. Which is nothing to sneeze at. Now, where is the chest? Oh, it's trapped down here next to this uh, Terraria asshole. Uh, so, I think we drop down here. We pick up the chest. The blade wall actually juggled the shit out of this guy. And may allow me to pick up... Uh, well, it allowed me to pick up some easy HP. Not really that much in the way of easy gold, but we are, you know, approaching 6,000 now. Is there anything of value up here? Up here? Oh, there's an exploding one, I thought. Um, that's okay, though. There's another, I don't know, 60 or 70 gold. Nothing to necessarily sneeze at, but also nothing to write home about. Um, now we might be at the end of the Land of Darkness. At which point, I almost just kind of want to kill myself and just get a couple... Uh, uh, more runs of the boss in and pick up a couple of levels of whatever I have, uh, you know, deserved at this point or whatever I desire, I guess was the word that I was looking for more there. Who would have thought that I used to be an English teacher? English is a second language, though. It's a, not really an English teacher, and I don't mean that as disrespect. I was just not a very good English teacher, so uh, I can use English as a second language somewhat derisively in my own situation. My English language skills, totally A-OK. -okay. Uh, that was probably an inelegant, inelegant way to put that, but, uh, my English teaching skills, I wouldn't necessarily, again, say are anything to write home about. So, destroy the Ninpo. Destroy the skeletons. This is a pain in the ass. I have to, like, follow these guys all the way down. Uh, the horse doesn't even get, like, knocked back at all, but still an easy kill, apparently. That was very close to me dying there. Well, getting hit anyway. I'm not very close to dying at all, in fact. I guess what we could do is just go fight the boss ourselves. I mean... If we find a teleporter, we can just take that back. I would love to get to 6,000 gold at the very least first. Might allow us to get some equipment in addition to a couple of levels. I did not like that at all, but we didn't get hit, so it's kind of amazing. There actually is a chest here as well. So I am pleased with the kind of course of events that have happened. Uh, the chest contains enough gold to take us to 6,000. Maybe we're looking at another run where we managed to get, you know, substantially more than we would have ever expected. Uh, things were not necessarily going fantastically right off the very bat, but... Uh, you know, stranger things have happened. We are approaching the 7,000 mark, at which point I would probably invest that. Well, we do have the retaliation rune for our chest, so maybe I'd save up for that. But also, just getting, like, raw stats seems smart. Um, anyway, for now, let's just uh, destroy these enemies, which should be easy enough. With hypergonadism, they can't even really get that close to me. The only thing that worries me is the corrupt vanguard. And I guess the pony should have as well. Uh, and there's no chest over here, but we're almost done with the land of darkness, I feel. It's kind of getting a little grindy at this point. Uh, you know, I've, I've done this part of the game many, many times. Why don't we look for a tip? I didn't think, or I thought I could make it up there. Why don't we look for a teleporter? Actually, there is another series of rooms over here to the left, so maybe we'll take those first. When did I last use the blade wall? I can't believe I haven't recovered MP since then. All right, so this is our last uh, room here. That's bad damage on my part. It did some damage to him, though. Oh, we're, we're critting, but I'm scared. They're not doing that much damage. Actually, they're doing quite a lot of damage to me. Well, if one of these dicks will just die, then, our, we, you know, we get enough gold to make it worth our while. And Crisis, to some point, averted. Very hotly contested final bout there. And, oh, there's a treasure chest that dropped as well, in which we receive... Guardian Cape, which is probably, if I had to guess, extra... Uh, HP? Zoophobia, we just got the achievement for that. I don't know, maybe that's like kill every enemy in the game or something. All right, so with 37 uh, HP, don't necessarily hold up uh, or hold out a lot of hope that we're going to, you know, survive this. Uh, but we might as well go fight our final boss just for fun. Uh, 
I guess because I went through half of the manor before getting to this guy, it's going to give me the opportunity to farm the gold, whereas if you just go directly to him, you don't have to worry about it. A little unusual, I suppose. These guys... Oh, they do attack! Okay. I'm a little confused about what's going on here. Because... Is, th is this not the tutorial series of levels? I thought the enemies didn't attack in these, but I might be mistaken. A little bit of gold. Might as well pick it up. You never know if 11 gold's gonna make the difference. This is the tutorial level. Okay. I mean, I assumed so. I couldn't imagine it not being, because I remember the path that you take to get to this guy. Uh, but I'm kind of surprised that it's making me go through it again. I thought that we were over this game. Uh, almost made it up to the top there. Please drop some turkey legs. No interest, apparently. All right. Well, we're screwed. That's okay, though. It's fun nonetheless, and we'll probably try to fit in another boss run before the end of this uh, episode. So we will just uh, skip over his dialogue, obviously. And with 7,000 gold, another good run. Not as good as the run we finished off with last time, but good nonetheless. With such little health, uh, I expect our death is going to come pretty fast and furious. In fact, one hit should be enough to kill us. And we're only doing 68 damage, which is or 63 damage. Which is even less than I do uh, most of the time, I think, with the Barbarian King. So any second now, this should be over. And of course, see, this will be the run where I actually win. Nope! <laughs> like I said, the game doesn't, it doesn't uh, like itself unless it's fucking me over a little bit. So, killed a lot of enemies as you can see. Let's upgrade ourselves. I'm probably gonna go for raw attribute upgrades. We have an assassin, an assassin, and a hokage. Let's go as the hokage. Could be fun. Uh, and I'm thinking uh, attack upgrades. Why not two of those? And then a uh, health upgrade? No, why not, why not get three attack upgrades? Uh, and then we only have 170 gold left. So, we'll play as the Hokage, we'll go straight for the boss. We have 240 HP, which is only like four hits that we can survive. But, we should be able to do a substantial amount of damage. And I had to at least try this at the end of the run, because this is the first time I've had the Hokage in quite some time. Uh, and I'm, I'm Dwarfish, and I, or, do I have any other traits that go along with it? I, I actually totally forgot. Uh, but I doubt it's going to be relevant. This is kind of just for interest's sake, to see how much damage I can actually do to this guy. Uh... I expect that it'll be a lot, otherwise there's kind of no point. 157 per hit. Remember, I can't crit though, uh, but still, that is substantial. <laughs> no question about that. Uh, if I just pick my shots accordingly, like these ones, for example, uh, and manage to dodge those axes in the luckiest way possible, I could end up taking this guy out really quickly, actually. And maybe this will be more interesting than I'd given it credit for in the first case. So you jump, please. And when you jump, I attack you, and then it makes it easy. There we go. All right. That was a super easy fight against the first boss. Maybe we should have gone for the HP upgrade instead of the damage. But uh, hard to complain about the way that that went right off the top there. Uh, I'll probably leave that other turkey leg back there. I doubt we'll be able to avoid taking damage against this guy. But I am a little tinier, so my hitbox should be lower. Maybe this like miraculous run with the Hokage is going to be what turns it around for us. So let's uh, pick up all of this stuff. This should take us back to full health. It did indeed. Uh, and each attack that we do against the fountain takes off like... Well, I mean, we're cutting them up pretty quickly here. We, we can't afford to get hit at all. Um, as I did right there. Um, we'll just take our turkey leg. Uh, now, be very cautious. These, these are going to be what dictates whether or not I succeed or fail on this run. That was a very good jump, followed by an even better double jump. And he's half dead. Now, be very cautious cautious about that. Ah, I really thought we could do it. We're one hit away from death now, but this went better than I thought it would go. No question. Uh, and just stay here. You dick, get away from me. That went better. The only thing is, if he walks into me, I get hit, and there's nothing I can do about it, really. I can jump over these and send the chakra back in to hit him. Ooh, that was close. And we're still, like, it seems like every run ends like this. With me thinking, all of a sudden, out of nowhere, I kind of have a chance. Only this time, do I? It feels kind of like I do if I throw the shock room, like, backwards. I'm expecting these knives to come in. It went well. Let's keep throwing these shock rooms backwards. Oh, I was so close! Oh, so close to beating him. I think a Barbarian King might, that, might make that one possible. But I guess I'll save that for the next episode. We have Barbarian King, Minor, Paladin. Maybe we'll try the Paladin, but he has a Blade Wall. They both have Blade Wall. All right, let, let's try with the um, let's try with the Paladin. I think it's our best idea. But we're gonna save this for the next episode. As always, thanks for watching. I think we're so so close 
That run with the Hokage almost did it. But in any case, again, thanks for watching, and I will see you next time.